Hey guys, Black Hat from SEAL Team 69 Airsoft with a quick emergency airsoft tech video. So this here is the Black Ops N4 Cobra. And uh, you can see I switched out the stock here. I haven't quite found a way to hide the wires. Um, but I mean, there's no question about this the stock configuration. Anyone could switch out the original uh, buffer tube cover and throw on an actual buffer tube and crane stock. That's easy and all. But what a lot of people have been looking for is on how to remove this uh, handguard and you know orange tip and barrel assembly essentially and unfortunately there aren't a lot of sources on the internet so I've been trying to figure this out for for three months without using brute force or mutilation I came to the conclusion that you know if you want to remove the barrel assembly you're probably not going to want to be too attached to the orange tip as you can see it's it's just mutilated here and it gets even worse uh, on the inside uh, you can see the aluminum parts are they didn't take too much damage from this I you know just put all my brute force into the into the removing the orange tip but uh, I kind of figured this out after sort of studying a diagram of the of the original Patriot uh, ELD free float stubby rail and I think this is this is probably just a replica um, of the of the original Patriot rail uh, but I went ahead and study that a little bit and came up with uh, how to basically remove this so uh, I'm gonna go through this real quick you can see I'm I'm using my phone for recording so it's a little bit ghetto but I'll, I'll go through this as quick as possible so the first thing you want to do is you just want to punch out this body pin right here there you go went flying down there uh, I might help to do this in a clean environment and you probably need to have some needle nose pliers just a fair warning though, this uh, removal is also a great way to just destroy your needle nose pliers if you don't use the extra precaution. So we have that pin uh, pushed out and go ahead and just slide whoops, slide the entire upper receiver up. Uh, from there you want to remove your hop up and your inner barrel. You can see that I have them lying there. Of course I'm not going to go through all the steps because uh, it's pretty straightforward. At this time of the disassembly I would recommend you soak this portion of the um, the rail in some boiling or hot water because as it turns out the orange tip is actually glued into the gun you can see uh, I completely severed this um, because because uh, again I wasn't really expecting the the orange tip to be glued down but again you know that that is pretty standard and that's pretty standard in any airsoft gun you buy nowadays so now just be warned about that also you want to note that the orange tip comes off in the counterclockwise direction so you're going to be turning it this way where my index finger is pointing now what you want to do is whether or not you decide to soak it in uh, hot water or not again the hot water methods never worked for me I've never disassembled an orange tip without destroying it uh, unfortunately so again I'm not too tech savvy with airsoft guns but you know I do have my fair share of you know experiments so again you're gonna take your needle nose pliers mine are wrecked from this project but you know, they're just a cheap dollar pair so you're gonna turn in the counterclockwise direction uh, it does take some some force and some strong hands you want a strong grip on the upper receiver while you're turning your pliers in the counterclockwise direction and you're gonna get it to a point where you probably have about that much of it poking out and at this point the the rails are gonna you're gonna be able to actually you know rotate the rails around they're gonna be pretty much free floating at that point so at this point you have one of two choices you can continue soaking it in hot water to try and you know disassemble the or rather to try and d dissolve the glue or you can start hitting this thing with some uh, with some brute force from uh, from this angle I'm going to show you in just a second uh, because at this point if you if the glue isn't dissolved you can't be turning this any further um, the only way you were able to get the orange tip to come out this far was because you were 
actually you are actually unthreading this uh, this outer barrel portion and again I haven't been able to disassemble any of this I suspect it's been glued down uh, but that's for another video I'll take care of that later but in the meantime I'm going to show you really quick uh, on how I managed to knock the orange tip off so to knock off that orange tip I basically had the gun uh, held at sort of an angle like that and I used a I used the screwdriver but uh, I I would recommend I don't know if you have some if you have a chisel that'll work if you have something with uh, a lot flatter of a head than this because you you notice if you're if you're gonna be prying it like this you're gonna be cutting into the plastic and causing all sorts of uh, ugly abrasions and and tears in the plastic uh, and that's more for I guess your safety than for the condition of the plastic because we're you're most likely going to lose the orange tip in the end anyways. And then what you're going to do is after you have that chisel sort of balanced like that, you're going to want to be knocking it out uh, using probably if you have a rubber mallet like I do right here, you'll just be knocking that out. And you want to be turning it so that you're applying force equally to um, to all the surfaces, um, all the surfaces on this little edge right here, the orange tip. Sir. And then eventually... Uh, the orange tip will come off and you know, everything else will come off with it. This slides off, this rail slides off, and you, know, you have your upper receiver free of that rail system. That's, that's pretty much it. You're going to have, if you didn't dissolve the glue well enough, your uh, the threading from the orange tip is going to be stuck on the inside. So... Uh, you might want to just peel all that off with your pliers if they aren't completely destroyed at the end of this project like mine were. And you know you have your you have your basically your M4 Cobra without the rail. So um, hopefully this helps with you know any questions on how to remove the rail. Uh, I feel like this is a really sought out uh, solution. Uh, among the airsoft community, anyone who runs an M4 Cobra, again, this isn't a very popular gun. I think it's off the mass market now, and I actually had to throw out some parts from the gearbox, like the anti-reversal latch, because the spring was getting, uh, I think it was losing tension. So instead of preventing the gears from rolling back, it was just getting in the way and actually jamming up the gears so I had to remove that it's been firing fine since but I haven't used it in any uh, serious games because I'm sure it'll break down next time I use it so enough about the internals uh, that's how you take off the the rail system so you have this free-flowing rail I don't, I, don't, I don't know what you can do with it because this thing's broken now I'm sure you could probably find uh, a replacement tip or you can you can literally just 3D print one of these things out if you know the uh, the, the, the specs and the dimensions uh, especially after you get rid of all that you know, with pliers or again dissolving it so and that's all I have sorry for the lengthy video but uh, I hope this video covers pretty much about every question you have about changing out the rail system peace Well, turns out there wasn't any need for uh, dissolving in hot water. So there you go. There's your upper receiver, free and uh, ready to uh, ready for a new installment, a new rail installment. As for this, um, I mean, throw it away or you know, beat people over the head with it. That's all I have to say.